Hi guys, I'm Jamie New, the founder of Smartest You, and in this video you're going to learn the eight steps it takes to get your artist management business off the ground and running. We've also linked to a free artist management startup kit in the description, which you'll want to download after you're done watching. Okay, step number one is to build your roster. Depending on where you're at in your journey to start your own artist management company, you may or may not have an artist yet, but just like any company, you don't have an artist management company without clients. So if you don't manage any artists yet, get out there and start looking because it could take a while, which I talk about in another, in another video actually called before starting your artist management company, managing your expectations um, and how to discover talent. Um, you could go to see 100 bands perform and only fall in love with one of them, or you could go see an artist tomorrow and fall in love with them. The important piece to note here is that you need to love them and they need to love and trust you to do business on their behalf in return. And this doesn't happen quickly, at least in majority of cases. You dedicate your life to your artists aside from your family and the best motivating factor for dedication is love. So you need to love their music, love their songs, love their vibes and love them as individuals. But the good news is, is that there's plenty of ways to find talent to manage. The hard part is just finding the one or the next one. So like I said, check out our other video called How to Discover Talent, which I've linked to in the description. Step number two is get a lawyer and sign contracts. A lot of business in the music industry is done on a handshake, but it's immensely better to cover yourself by signing an agreement with your partners and clients. You can make the management agreement as simple as you would really like, um, but just get something in writing that you're earning a certain amount of commission as so-and-so's manager and save it in a safe place. I highly re recommend though hiring an entertainment attorney to work on this with you along with all other contracts that you will have to deal with when you're doing business on behalf of your artists, um, like record labels or booking agencies or publishers, etc. Entertainment law is extremely specialized, so you need to be absolutely sure to hire an entertainment lawyer and not a lawyer from any other specialization. And we'll have another video on that eventually on how to draft an agreement, uh, as well as a we do a free download, a template download in the description below this video as well in the startup kit. Number three, do not quit your day job. And yes, I'm counting that as a step because I really do not want you to quit your day job yet to become an independent manager. If you're reading this or, or uh, watching this, I'm assuming it's because you're independent. So keep your day job or your contracts or your part-time job or whatever else you're doing to earn a living until your artists are making enough money to replace it. Um, like, is your prospective roster making enough money yet? Um, so you don't know until you know that before you start managing someone, you need to find out exactly how much money they're making so that you can decide if your 20 to or 15 to 20% management commission um, is worth it for you. If they aren't earning enough yet, then you need to be willing to dedicate time and energy as a longer term investment upfront in order to gain financial profit later. So find good ways to earn money for your artists, which will in turn earn money for you. Let's say right now you're earning $40,000 per year and you want to quit your job to earn that same amount. And let's say you're on a 20% gross commission rate, which is the best possible case scenario. Then your artist needs to be earning over $200,000 per year. Or you need to manage multiple artists that make $100,000 or $65,000 a year. But let's say they make $200,000 in one year and then decide to take a break for a few years. You just lost all of your income. So this is where you need to have other sources of income like a day, uh, day job or part-time contracts or something else. Step four is draft a business plan. Even if it's a rough draft, it's still a good idea to work through the process of creating a business plan so that you can learn and brainstorm, even if you have no idea what you're doing. We have a business plan template uh, available again, which is in, linked in the description below. And moving on to step number five is make a name for yourself, both excuse me, literally and figuratively. The industry is all about your reputation and who you know. So think about what you stand for as a manager. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Um, while you may also want to think of ways to brand yourself if you want to stand out, you may or may not. Um, and think about how you can secure wins for your artists that will help you build your reputation. Uh, go get business cards if you want, or a website, a new email, Facebook, Instagram, etc. all the social stuff and any means to promote yourself as a professional manager. Um, because it's another good way to promote you and your artists and your business and sign new artists. Get out, network, meet people as much as you possibly can, and find out what they do and show a genuine interest in them. 
So now that you have a roster and a plan, you want to come up with an artist management company name and register it with the government at this point, um, and then also start a bank account. Be professional. Step number six is get organized. You have to be the one that's the most organized since you're the one organizing the artist's career. Have all the right documentation and keep track of all your business functions appropriately. Um, but not to worry, if you're not the most organized person, um, then you can either learn to be or hire somebody who is more organized than you as soon as you possibly can. And of course, we provide all of the most important systems, plans, and templates and guides that you need to run your day-to-day -day operations. And we've linked to that below as well. It includes um, stuff to manage your money, your recordings, your tours, your marketing, and so much more. Uh, so be sure to check that out in the description. Uh, step number seven is get an entertainment account accountant um, because now that you have all the documents you need to be organized, you're going to want to discuss your accounting procedures to manage your cash flow appropriately. Um, so discuss that with your new entertainment accountant. Um, I also, like I said, is entertainment account specifically. Um, there's a whole different set of tax write-offs available to you depending on what country you're in. Um, so see if you can get an entertainment accountant. Accountant. And number eight is get to work. Start prioritizing revenue generating activities, um, building a team around your artist and helping grow their career as soon as you possibly can. I've said it a hundred times, but I'll say it again. Sign up to our email list, which is in the description uh, for tons of free information on managing talent and get the free startup artist management kit. Um, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and let us know what else you'd like to know about. Share it with your fellow music industry friends, and thank you so much for watching.